Hey everybody, we are live at Pace Studio on the road in East Nashville from Instrument Head Live. We're live with Tennille Towns. Tennille, thanks for doing this. Hello, thank it, you so much for having me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a total pleasure. The sound check has sounded great. We can't okay, wait good. to share your music <laughs> with the internet right now. We've got, uh, you're playing, I think, exclusively songs from the Lemonade Stand, which you kindly released on my birthday. Thank well, you. yes, happy birthday, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's out in the world as of June 26, 2020. That's and right. uh, what's coming up first today? I'm going to play a song called Where You Are. Thanks for having me. I'm really excited to be here. I've been high, I've been low, I've been everywhere a soul can go. I've seen the northern lights and heaven too, oh, but I ain't ever seen anything like you. If you ever need somebody down the road, you should know I'd stand in any ticket line. To get back to where you are Oh, and if you need a light to shine Well, I'll buy you any star hanging in the sky Oh, and if this world breaks your heart We'll break mine in two and take the other part, yeah Well, you know it already belongs to you Yes, it does Man, this sounds great. Thank you for doing this. Um, can we talk a bit about the production of the record, about the uh, the relationship between you and and Jay Joyce, yes. and uh, specifically the uh, that facility sounds awesome, like the converted church where you guys recorded. Can you talk about the relationship and the place as well? It's amazing. It's such a beautiful place to to create music. I had I had dreamed of getting to make a record with. Jay Joyce, he's one of my heroes. I'm like the biggest fan of, fan of um, Flaming Red, Patty Griffin, and so many of those Eric Church projects. And I, I just uh, love his work so much and thought it would be just a dream to make some music together. And 
I showed up just to meet him and get to know each other and walked into the studio, which is this old church. Um, it's been completely, you know, the insides look like a studio, but you're surrounded by these stained glass windows. And it's just like this mysterious sort of dark tension met with like the glorious light coming in and it's such a inspiring atmosphere to create music and he's amazing he's like a mad scientist running from one instrument to the next and I really appreciated the way that he was like I want to make this record around the way that you just stand and play these songs with your guitar and play them for me like you're playing them in a room and we'll just kind of surround the music around that and it was uh, really cool to see these songs come to life that way. Yeah, mysterious is that. I mean, that's a good way, a good word to describe that place. Because I was, I mean, I was poking around the internet <laughs> and trying to figure out more about the place, and I knew it was rad, but there's not that much yeah, information about it. Like the only way to communicate about it is to ask people who have been there that's and, right. it's, and done the it's thing. It's Jay's secret hideaway spot. It's, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, well, so we've heard one from the Lemonade Stand, and we're about to hear a lot more. What's coming up second today? Yeah. Thanks. Um, this one is. A song very close to my heart. It was uh, inspired by a group of people that I met in this tiny little town, Grand Manan, New Brunswick. And I got flown over there to play for their school and spent the whole day getting to know this community and was just blown away by these kids and, and the spirit that this really small town had. And um, I later found out that there had been a car accident there a few months prior with a few kids from that high school. And four of which I'd been hanging out with all day and had no idea what they'd just been through. And one of them, her name was Danielle. She was the star basketball player, valedictorian, and and she was taken in this fluke wreck. And I stayed in touch with the teacher and one of the students, Zoe, and I found out that their high school graduation the following spring was coming up. And Miss Ward and I worked it out that I got to fly back there to be there for the, the graduation. And I sat in the gym and the whole town's piled in, and there was just not a dry eye as Danielle's parents gave their daughter's honorarium scholarship to Zoe, who was her best friend a couple years younger, who was also in the car. And um, it just sort of hit me in this moment going, I have questions for God. You know, this is the most incredible group of people, and to go through something so hard like that. And, and I looked over and saw her jersey hanging in memory on the gym wall and, and really thought about those questions. So... Um, it's called Jersey on the Wall. There's Jersey on the Wall in a high school gym in my hometown in the corner by the scoreboard where the bleacher seats fall down. 27 to the Tigers to the finals that year but that's not why it's hanging there no if I ever get to heaven got a long list of questions like how do we make a snowflake are you angry when the earthquakes how does the sky change in a minute Keep this big rock spinning Why can't you stop a car from crashing? Forgive me, I'm just asking picture missing and loving memory instead and then somewhere there's a mother who stopped going to church cause your plan quit making sense down here on earth oh, if I ever get to heaven got a long list of questions like how do we make a snowflake are you
questions. How do you make a snowflake? Are you angry when the earth quakes? How does the sky change in a minute? How do you keep this big rock spinning? Why couldn't you stop that car from crashing? Forgive me, I'm just asking, yeah. Oh, I'm just asking. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Man, that is a beautiful song. Thank you for sharing with us today. Thanks. And so, I mean, your your involvement with that school and your involvement in but it seems like community mindedness and philanthropy is important to you. And I was poking around and read about your work with uh, with Sunrise. Sunrise House, almost yeah. like Sunset House, Sunrise House. <laughs> you raised a ton of cash for this organization. Can you talk a bit about what it is about that organization that resonates with you? Yeah, thank you for asking about that. Um, to me, that's the best part about music is the way it brings people together and talks about things in songs that are maybe harder to have a conversation about but have an ability to like shine a little bit of light on it. And um, watching my community come together for this event called Big Hearts for Big Kids is something we started 11 years ago. And it literally started hearing about kids who were my age in my own hometown that were sleeping in youth shelter beds every night. And it was like, what can we do to wrap our arms around around this shelter and, and lift up these kids? And um, the night of our first event, they had to close their doors due to lack of funding. And it was kind of like, wow, OK, we're really supposed to do this right now. And, it's been the most amazing thing. You know, that night we raised $30,000 and I was like, wow, if this is what music can do, I'm in. And then, you know, 11 years later, <laughs> it's um, it's over $2 million. Like two million bucks, it's yeah, crazy. man. And, the, and those lineups are huge. Like, it seems as though, I mean, you've spearheaded and had, uh, I mean, the community has really rallied around it. There's some, you know, huge household names on those bills. That's that's amazing that you've been able Thank to pull that you. together. It's been, it's been really special to have a lot of my heroes come up to my hometown in Grand Prairie. And then this year, in the craziness of everything going on, we weren't able to travel back home to do the show. But um, I think this, this year has brought out a lot of creativity in all of us. And um, we found a way to do it um, through a live stream. And we were planting the seed for the very first Big Hearts here in Nashville. And we're able to raise funds for both Sunrise House and the Girl Scouts of Middle Tennessee Troop 6000, which helps young girls here in, in Tennessee without permanent housing. And and that was so crazy because I, I really did get so many of my heroes to play the event, like getting a video from Brandy Carlisle and Lori McKenna and <laughs> Luke Combs and all these, all these people who I just, uh, it would have been a lot harder to put them all in an airplane and bring them to my hometown. So this year was really special for that. Yeah, well, that's really cool. I'm glad that you're doing this. We're happy to use this platform to amplify the, Thank you for the voice and spread that message. So good for it. you. That's awesome. And uh, there's a lot of music still upcoming. What's yes. coming up next? I'm going to play a brand new song, if that's okay. Yeah. Um, this is one that was initially inspired by a conversation with one of um, my aunties. We were just talking about how her youngest had turned... Um, 16 and was driving himself to school and she was going I don't remember the last day that I dropped him off and um, She's like it's funny. You know, I remember the first day of school. I remember when I took him and um, I just thought that was such an interesting concept to think about and I think especially this year it feels like holding on to those moments and and cherishing them and the ones we love feels more important than ever. So this this is a, a new one It's a long drive every day to school. She drops him off at the north doors, painted blue. He says, I love you, Mom, before he shuts the door. Oh, every day just like the day before. But tomorrow he's 16, he's got his own car. He'll be fine Everyone remembers the first time Cause a heart knows there'll never be another like this But the thing about the last time Is 
your day We used to walk down by the water to the big rock we named I can't find it now It's been too many years Wish I took him back just one more time When he was still here Looked fine at Christmas Same sweater, same tie Ain't it funny how some memories fade And some never die Everyone remembers the first time Cause the heart knows there'll never be another like this But the thing about Kissing you like the sun ain't gonna rise Gonna love you like it's the last time Everyone remembers the first time Cause a heart knows there'll never be another like <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, can we? So this sounds wonderful in this uh, in this iteration with you and your guitar. Um, can you talk maybe uh, compare and contrast the way you're playing here today versus what people can hear on the studio album and some of the uh, additional production stuff that you and Jay put on the on the record? Yeah, I mean it was so fun to start these songs this way, and then a lot of the songs I I feel like. Jay kind of has a way of putting on a, a leather jacket to them, and it's like surrounding them with all these cool guitar parts, and and um, you know, it it really has such I think more energy to to hear these songs come together with a band. I miss playing live um, with my band very much right now, and and um, it's like I I really do love to do both things. It's like I, I definitely grew up playing with just a guitar and traveling around playing shows and and um, driving across Canada doing things a little bit more acoustic and it's been so exciting since making that record being able to take these songs to another level and, and share that music with uh, other musicians on stage too. So I love both of those things. Nice, well you've made a lot of uh, excellent decisions went into uh, that album. It sounds wonderful. I'm enjoying it very much. Thank you. Thanks for Hopefully listening to it. Hopefully the internet, everyone who's checking, we've got a good audience right now. Hopefully everyone who's watching Hi, this everybody. live stream also checks out <laughs> the studio album. So thank you for sharing. And we've got one more, right? Yeah, I'd, I'd love to to play another. Thank you again so much for the opportunity to be here. Thanks for having me. And thanks to everybody watching. I, I can't wait to cross paths down the road soon. Um, I'll leave you with this song. It was one that was inspired by a young girl I saw standing on the side of the interstate holding on to a cardboard sign and just sort of wondering what her name could be and what her story is and thinking about the fact that we really all have a story. Everybody's got something that they're, they're going through and I think it's pretty amazing to look out for one another. So. She's always standing at the stoplight on 18th Street She could be a Sarah, she could be an Emily And Olivia, maybe Cassidy With her shaky hands on the cardboard sign She's looking at me 
Talk about someday plans. Now this light will turn green and I hand her a couple dollars. And I wonder if she got lost or they forgot her. She's somebody's daughter, somebody's daughter, somebody's daughter. Where did she give up wondering where the car? So I just nod my head and wait Well, no one's gonna ask what she wants to be Or why we're both stuck here at the mercy of geography And whether it shines or rains, yeah Bet she was somebody's best friend Laughing all back when she was somebody's sister Count change at the lemonade stand Probably somebody's high school first kiss Or dancing in the gym where the kids all talk about someday plans Now this light will turn green and I'll hand her a couple dollars Oh, and I wonder if she got lost or they forgot her best friend oh laughing back when she was somebody's sister just counting change at the lemonade stand probably somebody's high school first kiss or oh, dancing in a gym where the kids all talk about someday someday now this light will turn green and i'll hand a couple dollars Thank you, Tanil. This has been a total, total pleasure on our side. Thank you for sharing the music. Uh, the Lemonade Stand came out on my birthday when I turned 38 years old, <laughs> June 26, 2020. It's out in the world right now, so thank you for sharing the music with us today, and have a wonderful week, man. This is uh, only cool because you and artists like you show yeah. up and make this cool, so Well, thank, thank you. you for the opportunity to share some songs and stories, and thanks again to everybody for hanging with us. It's been a real joy to be here.